Now joined by Brian Baldinger of NFL Network. Baldy, what are your initial thoughts on the Jets' schedule here? It's almost like the schedule allows them to completely fly under the radar, which is not a bad thing in Robert Sala's first year with a lot of young players, maybe a rookie quarterback in Zach Wilson, etc. It's not a bad thing, you know, to, to have one o'clock games, be on a regular schedule, know where you're going to be. Let's put this thing together. That's that's what I would that's what I would say if I'm Robert Sala or Joe Douglas right now. Oh, Baldy, what do you think about both of the openers, the season opener in Carolina with the intrigue there? And then Robert Sala's first home game at MetLife Stadium comes against the New England Patriots. Well, I mean, I think that, you know, the league did a good job. I'm mean, obviously Sam Darnold is a guy that, you know, all Jet fans will know. And he'll more than likely be the starting quarterback for the Panthers. And so, you know, Sam Darnold wants to show the Jets that they made a mistake and they didn't keep him and they never built around him. You know, he'll get, that's not really Sam's personality, but that will be the perception that I'm going to show those guys that they made the mistake. And that's okay. I mean, it, you, all these opening games have got to have some storylines, some threads, you know, something to get the people excited. Let me ask you about the 17 game schedule. The Jets have nine home games this year and I'm saying they have seven road games and one neutral site game because you got that week five game in London against the Atlanta Falcons. What do you think about the Jets going across the pond? I'll say this, uh, EA, if you haven't, I've been there for a lot of games live. The fan base is nuts. Now, I mean, it could be neutral. I'm sure that there'll be a, a ton of Jet fans, a lot more Jet fans maybe than Falcon fans, but the, the, the stands will be full. The atmosphere will be nuts. Just not just that game against Atlanta week week five and at London, but Atlanta's one of those teams, like Carolina, like Denver, like a lot of these teams on the schedule, that is a, a firm rebuild, just like the Jets. And so who's going to get the rebuild started quicker? You know, is it Atlanta with, you know, with the coach and Arthur Smith? Is it with the Jets, you know, Robert Sala? There's a lot of these teams on the schedule that are in the first or second year of rebuild. And that's really where I think the Jets can gain some ground if they put this thing together quickly and really come together in the locker room, on the practice field, and really come together as a team quickly. They they can gain ground on, on a lot of these teams. Last thing for me is, what do you think about that close for the Jets? That final quarter features three games against teams that had double-digit wins last season. You got Jacksonville coming to town in that final quarter. So uh, uh, perhaps a matchup of Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence versus Robert Sala and Zach Wilson. And then those final two games, you got the defending Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming to town, and then you finish up at Buffalo in January. Well, in and, and, and a 17-game schedule. So yep. we'll see, like, you know, who's, who's limping into week, you know, 16, 17, and 18 now. Um, you know, who's fresh? Uh, depth is going to play a big part for all these teams in this league right now. What kind of depth do you have? You got a 53-man roster. Chances are you're going to have to use all of it and maybe even some practice squad guys. So who's left standing when you get there? But I think the, you know, the Week 16 game against Jacksonville is going to be a, a, a really a great contest because we're talking about two teams rebuilding with new coaches, new quarterbacks at the top of the draft. You know, who's really looks like they've got the wheels in motion to rebuild their teams right now. And that, that'll be a good matchup, I believe, um, you know, against Jacksonville to, to find out who's further along during through most of the first season. Awesome. Baldy, appreciate the insight on the schedule breakdown, and we got to get you up here soon. 